Hello everyone and welcome to The Conservative Poet. My name is Amanya uh, and I'm so glad that you're here to join me today. So I would like to say Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Though it is after Thanksgiving that I'm making this video, I took some time, a couple of days away from the internet, from YouTube, from social media, and I just sort of rested and uh, did some things behind the scenes, but mostly I just sort of took some time to really be with myself and be with the Lord. And, you know, it was great. So that was a great, great time for me. And so I sort of put everything down. And so now I'm catching up to some of the things that went on during Thanksgiving and uh, the days that followed. And so this video, first, before I get into what I, I'm making this video about, but I got some real text, some strange text messages from friends, and I wanted to read one, and I don't know if this was um, a joke. I haven't even bothered to, to call people up and, and say, hey, what was this all about? But I did get those text messages from a couple of people, and I was like, I think it would be fun to read it. In case it's like really something that's going on out there in the world, and I just didn't know about it. So let us read that. And so one of us said, this is all about Thanksgiving. It says, just don't forget the true story of Thanksgiving. How a bunch of white terrorists were chased out of Europe. When they got to this country, they were so incompetent that they would have all starved to death if the peaceful and the compassionate Indians had not taught them how to grow food. Then the white terrorists repaid the Indians by stealing and killing them all. Whew. After that, the white terrorists celebrated Thanksgiving. Thus, each year, our country celebrates the first of many successful repressions of minorities. I wasn't sure if that was a joke. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> but in the event, this takes me into what I'd like to talk about today. So streaming through things, I came up with none other than Joy Democracy Read and how she addressed her followers, her, I don't even know if she has people who really watches her show, but um, her subscribers, her viewers, whatever you wanna call them, as she talked a little bit about Thanksgiving. And I'd like to take a minute for us to take a look at that and see how Joy Democracy Read stole Thanksgiving with Thanksgiving, the day we gather with friends and family to enjoy turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, and pumpkin pie. We throw on the game, catch up on our lives, and then discuss, or quite possibly argue, about religion and politics. For millions of Americans, it's a day of cherished traditions. And as Americans, we certainly value those traditions. But it's also important to unpack the myth of Thanksgiving. It is a holiday riddled with historical inaccuracies built on this myth that the indigenous welcomed their colonizers with open arms and ears of corn, a simplistic fairy tale interpretation of a 1621 encounter between indigenous tribes and English settlers that erases the genocide that followed. It's the truth Republicans want banned from our textbooks because here's the secret they want so desperately to keep. We are a country founded on violence. Our birth was violent. In 1619, a ship with more than 20 enslaved Africans landed in Virginia, ushering in two centuries of American slavery that left millions in chains or dead. And when those humans in bondage were finally free, a terrorist organization that was a card-carrying member of polite society, the Ku Klux Klan, picked up where the Civil War ended, using violence to maintain white supremacy. The Klan and its ilk are still active, and as Americans, we continue to choose by So Joy Reid, the Grinch who tried to steal Thanksgiving. But you got a problem there, Joy. The indigenous people, 
they did killings of their own. They did some things too, but you don't seem to want to talk about that. And Joy, I have another thing. If you hate the country so much, if it disdain you so much, if it bothers you so much, why are you still living here? You should pack up and go back to the motherland where they will out welcome you home with open arms, right? On the other hand, Joy, they may not welcome you there because you know what? They're not all in for this transgender castrating your body, cutting off body parts. They're not all in for the LGBT, QRSC, MNOP. They're not in for all of that. So, and they're not in for all of this racism that you peddle. So they might not welcome you back because what you're selling, they ain't buying it. So America has its crosses to bear just like every other country, just like everybody else. Yes, there were mistakes made. Yes, people died. Yes, a lot of bad things happened. But it happened and we can't go back and we can't change that. We can't do anything about it. It is finished. It's the past. It's our history. But what bugs me is that just like everything else, these race baiters, all they ever talk about is the bad things in America. Here we are celebrating a wonderful holiday. We're celebrating giving thanks to our father for creation, for our lives, for the good things that's going on in our world and in our lives. And we're thankful that God protects us from all this craziness that's happening in the world. You know, and that's what we're thankful for. And that's what the first Thanksgiving was all about. People gathering together, dancing, eating, and enjoying life and enjoying themselves. And that's what we take away from Thanksgiving. You know, joyless read. That's what we take away from Thanksgiving giving thanks for what we have. Maybe that's something you should try. Try giving thanks. Look at you, you're on a platform. You get paid millions of dollars to spew nonsense to people. You know, you should be thankful for that. You can't do that in any other country. I told you the motherland won't be accepting you back because what you're selling, they ain't buying. And you can't take it somewhere else because they don't want you. Because again, the only people that you have here, your audience, is these people who, who believe the things that you believe, that America's a racist country, that everything here is bad. You know, if you packed them up and y'all went back to Africa, you'd have an audience. You'd be all right. You know, try it. See how that goes. Um, but I wanted to unpack that first. And then I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that she said in reference to the Ku Klux Klan. And... Um, if, if memory serves joy, isn't the Democrat Party the party of the KKK? Isn't that who's the party of the KKK? It's the Democrats. Democracy Now! That group. You don't believe that? Let's find out. So here is a article or the archives, African American History all about the KKK. And I'm just gonna read just a couple of lines from this, just so we get our um, point across. Um, formed in 1865 as a secret lodge by former Confederates in Pulaski, Tennessee, the invisible empire of the Ku Klux Klan KKK has been and remains committed to white supremacy in America. Die-hard groups violently resisted Reconstruction, still defending the South. They fought Union Army occupations. Republican governments, hmm, they fought Republican governments and Blacks' freedom. Donning hoods and using secret titles, they took an oath to defend Christianity, the Constitution, and, white, and the white race, especially their woman's purity loyal to the Democratic Party. The, the Klan enlisted men and women from all classes, targeting union leagues, freedmen's and political clubs. Night riders harassed and often killed black people and Republican voters. 
and office holders burned black churches and schools, intimidated teachers, and stole elections. Why, really, they were stealing elections back then? Democrats? Shocking. In 1868 elections, alongside Knight of the White Camilla, they murdered 1,000 black and white Republicans in Louisiana alone. After its investigation, Congress passed the Ku Klux Act in 1871. But under, I wanted to just throw that back at Joy. Catch that again, this is where, this is who, this is what the Democrat Party is. This is who they are. They are the party of the KKK. And they are truly the white supremacists. And so if you want to read that, I will have it in the description box and you can um, look at that for yourself. But I think I'm going to wrap up this video. I just wanted to give that hit to Joy Reid in reference to trying to steal our Thanksgiving. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. And you know, friends, I've come up with a slogan. People. We've got souls to save. <laughs> Let me know if you think, what, what do you think about that? We've got souls to save.